Did you know that there are many chemicals and artificial colorings that are approved by Health Canada to be in the food that we eat? Yes, in fact, even the food we send with our children to school during their day. Now this is not good news and it's really important to shed some light on this topic. So what better person to do that than Melissa Pitchnan from Inner Harmony Nutritional Consulting, who's a holistic nutritionist. So welcome, Melissa. Thank you, Margaret. Now not only are you a holistic nutritionist, you're also a mother of three. Yes. And know the importance of food and the impact it has on our, our health and well-being. Yes. So when we're talking about chemicals and coloring, I mean, mm -hmm. as we can see from the array of things you brought here, mm -hmm. children do love bright colors, but with that mm -hmm. come some consequences. Can you speak to a little bit about colorings? Sure, uh, coloring is part of the man-made chemicals. And we take in more man-made chemicals in one day than our great-grandparents did in their lifetime. So this is a cumulative. This is over a lifetime and we're seeing more degenerative diseases with children, more allergies, more asthma, things that we don't need to see at this stage of their life. So these brightly colored uh, beverages and, and snacks and cereals um, are very enticing to children, but they can be very detrimental as well. Well, absolutely. And the good news is, though, there are choices that we can make that can be equally as appealing to children, right. but we need to understand what we're mm -hmm. reading and how we can make a difference. Can you shed some light on a couple of the chemicals that are, it, whether it's on the label or, or not, mm -hmm. are seen in these bright colored things that we need to be concerned about? And what are some of the symptoms that parents may or may not see in their kids days after having eaten something like this. Okay, so what we're looking for on labels is either color or artificial color and flavoring. That's going to give us an idea of what's in the product. Those two terms are umbrella terms for a lot of different food dyes that can be found. And we know from research that yellow dye number five and red number 40 cause the most frequent reactions in children. And some of these symptoms of food dye allergies are hives and eczema, uh, runny nose, uh, upset stomach, anaphylaxis, and hyperactivity. Right, and of course there are many children that are dealing with issues like behavioral problems that are affecting their schooling, their socialization. It's very, very difficult. And to not realize that what we're taking in could be having an impact on it is really, really a shame. Mm -hmm. um, because we assume that if it's in our grocery stores, it's safe, and that's, that's not right. always the case. That's right. So, okay, so when we're looking at these, I mean, okay. this is a quick and easy snack. Mm -hmm. Gelatin kids love to take. Mm -hmm. But you've got a natural, healthy alternative that's gonna taste good great, but we're not taking in chemicals. What, what do we have here? We have something called agar agar. We can get that in a powder form or flake. And what it is, is a vegetarian gelatin substitute, which is made from seaweed vegetation. Okay. So, so when kids hear seaweed, they go, oh, seaweed. Yeah, the good news is no taste. No taste. No taste. So what it is doing, it is, um, is firming up your uh, fruit juice. So put some frozen berries in your blender, blend it up. Get a, a nice juice from it, add the agar agar, and you will get a product such as this. And so therefore they can take it, look like all the other kids in the class, That's right. but they're not going to be ingesting some chemicals. Exactly. Now of course, all we all love these beautiful mm -hmm. uh, sugar-filled chemical drinks because yes. they look nice, mm -hmm. but we can also make them colored in a natural way and make it taste good. That's right. So we can freeze any of the berries, all the rich dark berries filled with antioxidant protection for the children, which is so important considering they're getting all these chemicals through their food and air and water. Everything that goes on their skin gets into their body and it has to process it. So we want to make sure that we're going clean. So a clean way is water, a frozen berry, in the water will um, color the water as well as make it cold and refreshing for the child. And of course they can pick their berries so you can get them involved whatever their yeah. favorite is. Maybe it's blueberry now they're gonna have a silly blue drink. That's right. And, and it's a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. Now of course we all love snacks and mm -hmm. treats and cupcakes in our house is a big hit but that blue food coloring mm -hmm. um, there's a natural way to get that as well and there we is. should resort to that shouldn't we? That's right. Blueberries. Blueberries. So yeah. just put them in the blender mm -hmm. you can add it to your icing and mm -hmm. away you go you have less chemicals and of course it's not just about the kids our cosmetics mm -hmm. toothpaste many things that we put on our body are absorbed as well in terms of chemicals so when we're talking about children we really need to pay attention read your labels find an alternative when you can mm -hmm. I know one thing that I love my family have gotten trained to look for turmeric in mm -hmm. pickles instead mm -hmm. of what's the chemical in, in pickles 
uh, that usually for coloring tartrazine. Tar 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 That's tar yellow number five. Yeah, right. tartrazine. So, yeah. so yeah. if you see that name, look mm -hmm. for turmeric. Buy those pickles instead. They taste the same, and it's better for you. And there are a lot of companies now um, providing more natural ingredients. So we're looking for things like beet extract or an anatto um, extract. We're looking for vegetable juices um, as coloring. Right. Natural exactly. coloring makes sense to mm -hmm. me. As always, a pleasure to have you. Thank you. I'm really excited because we can now put this in the kids' lunches and feel good about it. Great. If Thank you want you. more information, you can go to M Melissa's website or, of course, visit us here on WOW TV as we'll be bringing you all kinds of interesting information on how to keep you and your family healthy.